Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. So I've not done one of these for a while, but I thought I would do um, a reading for the full moon in Libra, 28th of March, 2021. So let's see what we have. I'm just going to pull some cards and see what messages we get. So this happens on the 28th of March, 2021. Um, and remember, Libra is the justice card in the tarot deck which is all about uh, restoring balance, restoring balance. The Libran full moon, which is a super moon, so probably heightened, magnified emotions, magnified feelings, magnified intuition, call it what you will. Um, there is an opportunity to reestablish the balance, but Libra is also the house of relationships. Now, with this being in airy season, which is all about self, it can be to do with, you know, how we connect with us, how we restore balance in our own internal energy. And Chiron is in Aries, as we know, uh, the wounded healer. So this is about learning lessons. I mean, there's also Saturnian energy and Venus energy in this full moon. So there's definitely this energy of learning lessons, but allowing yourself to heal from them and restore balance in your internal uh, sphere. So very beautiful energy with this full moon. Self-love, self-nurturing. And so I've called it pretty much a happy balance because it is restoring a happy balance. We have number 16, full moon. Interesting, we've got full moon there. Power. Reconnecting to your own inner power, your own sense of self. Taking control, which is what the emperor does, the Aries energy. Taking con control of that which might have tested or controlled us and allowing us to restore balance. Definitely beautiful energy there. So let's see what else we get. This is the Moonology deck. What do we have for the full moon in Libra, 28th of March, 2021? I'm just going to shuffle one more time. Full moon in Libra, 28th of March, 2021. Okay, there's a bit too many cards there, I'm afraid. And I'm just going to choose one. So we will go with, oh my goodness. <laughs> I've got a win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. Uh, well, there we go. Okay, so it's win-win if you allow yourself to learn lessons, understand what is of value to you and what those lessons have taught you and now release from any hurt in love or that has been caused in your internal energy, there is definitely an opportunity to restore that happy balance. Yeah, as we talk about Saturnian energy and embrace maybe a new journey. Continue on, move on from it, release. Lovely, lovely energy there. Okay. So let's pull a final message here. What do we have for the full moon in Libra? 28th of March. Yeah. And attract abundance. And really understanding what is of value to you in terms of abundance. Remember abundance, yes, this is very good in terms of money career, but it's also about feeling abundant from within the internal energy of not feeling lack anymore. And that's what that Chiron energy does. It helps release. Lovely energy there. Okay. Okay, so let's pull some cards and see what we get. Okay. So what do we have for the full moon in Libra, 28th of March, 2021? What do we have for the full moon in Libra, 28th of March, 2021? 
Message for the full moon in Libra, 28th of March, 2021. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Nine of Cups, nice energy. Libra, Queen of Swords. Page of Pentacles. The Hermit. The Tower. And we have the Three of Cups. Okay, okay. There's definitely an energy here. The Ace of Swords. You know, I'm feeling this links with that Queen of Swords sword in some way, you know, which is very much about um, cutting cords, breaking free of things that don't serve us anymore and focusing on the building energies, you know, with the page of pentacles that does. You know, this is the balancing energy, the balanced perspective, the balanced judgment calls, the balanced decisions that we can make, that when we're in balance, you know, we make the right decisions for us, but it definitely comes from having that balance from within, which is all about that Queen of Swords energy. She establishes balance between the heart and the mind, and that allows her to make sound judgment calls, get to truths of situations, make clear decisions on what serves her in her external environment. So there's definitely this energy of cutting old attachments, breaking free, releasing, again with this Chiron energy, learning lessons, um, and understanding what is of value now to focus on in your external environment. Because there is definitely an energy of aligning here to what makes you happy through healing, through introspection, through focusing on restoring that happy equilibrium from within. Hermit is great at restoring, is at, at raising our vibration from within on how to make sound judgment calls in our external environment. You know, once we, um, once we are aligned with where we need to be, you know, the, the hermit energy is great at shining the light and showing us the way from within on any choices, decisions or actions or things that we need to take in our external environment. What is going to make you happy? And again, this is the happy balance I'm talking about as well. You know, nine of cups, aligning to what makes you happy, cutting ties with the past and restoring the equilibrium within the self. This is our own dialogue, our own communication with our own self. And being at one. So, very beautiful energies. I mean, the Nine of Cups is a card of alignment too. You know, it's 12th house energy. Yeah, Pisces energy. So, absolutely aligned to what is going to bring growth and expansion and um, fulfillment our way, you know, and happiness. Because definitely there's an energy of we have been through some kind of testing time. I mean, this can be the pandemic for me as a reader, um, but it can also be our own personal challenges that we may have experienced. Um, our own life lessons that we may have experienced, the tests that we've been through. And things that may have caused us instability, there is now an opportunity with this Libra and full moon to restore the balance. And that's what the Queen of Swords is all about. And the newfound clarity of when we're in balance, everything becomes clear. When we're in balance, we see the way forward in our external environment. 
when we're in balance, we understand how to bring balance back through some maybe instability, uh, restore the balance in our external environment by first getting that balance and the relationship with ourselves from within, you know. So it feels very, very beautiful because she, these clouds I can see here, she is rising above those clouds, you know, to the blue sky. So it definitely feels in this energy. that this wonderful balancing energy with this full moon is just again bringing this happy equilibrium back into our lives the happy relationship with self and any hurts we've experienced you know we have venus in this full moon so love romance relationships can also be money and career as well you know venus rules both um there's death and how it's affected us from within it is getting that newfound clarity from restoring the balance from within and focusing on what's going to make us happy again you know and the three of cups is an energy of the winter is over the spring is here it is an energy of In, in one way, I'm seeing this can be a bit of coming together. I mean, you know, practically I could see this in terms of lockstep lockdowns potentially um, in different parts of the world. I know in some areas there's third waves of lockdowns going on, um, but you know, this can be an energy of coming together, understanding what we also value, the bond with people, friends, family you know, having gone through this period of change of what's of value to us and what isn't. You know, where do we need to cut cords and what or who is of value to us moving forwards? But I also see this as where there's been deep change circumstances, it is over. That door is closing. There is balance being restored here and it comes from within. And there's a wonderful kind of like the winter is over, the spring is here, which is very apt for the time of year as well, isn't it? Um, so celebratory energy. Very lovely energy of, yeah, just like I said, find understanding what is a value to us, learning lessons, life lessons, where we want to put our energy and time now getting greater clarity, a greater balanced perspective, balanced judgment calls, um, and releasing anything that doesn't serve us anymore. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy here. So I'm gonna pull a final card. Let's pull some final cards and see what we get. Final message, please. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, you see this again, the meditation. Take a moment to connect to source through quiet reflective meditation. But it's also connect to ourselves, our higher selves. Um, the dialogue that we have with ourselves. And we have abundance. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. And it is an energy of how can you serve yourself better, the Virgo energy. How can we serve ourselves better now? Through having that communication with ourselves from within, releasing and healing and finding a way, finding answers from within on how to take action in our external environment to restore some kind of equilibrium. But it definitely feels in this energy, this reconnection to self, this reestablishment of the dialogue with ourselves is restoring some kind of, of balance um, and overcoming any change or difficulty that we've experienced. You know, I love the energy of a win-win outcome is forecast. <laughs> you know, full moon in Libra, it's amazing that that card came out. And again, reconnecting to our power, understanding through life lessons, what is of value to us and where we need to cut ties and embracing the journey again you know what is going to make us happy 
how do we need to move forward now? And it all comes from within, but I love the energy of being ready to attract abundance when we restore that balance within ourselves. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful um, full moon in Libra for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.